Hi, my name is Michael Fox, and I work at the River Church in Holly, Michigan. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick behind-the-scenes overview of our video equipment. Um, get a few questions here and there about what we use and how it all works. So I just wanted to do a quick rundown for you. I feel like it might be helpful. Uh, so let's dive right in. So I'm going to take you right into our video room here. Um, we use uh, quite a bit of the Blackmagic Design products. Uh, I love them. They are uh, very affordable, have a great feature set, um, lots of different things that work for us. So here in our main rack we have uh, both Blackmagic's Video Hub as well as their ATEM 2ME production switcher. Um, so the Video Hub does all my video routing in and out of the whole building. Uh, we've got a fairly large facility and I've got um, you know TVs uh, all over. We go uh, to sell, you know, lobby TVs, we go to TVs in our nursery, we go to TVs um, uh, backstage in the green rooms that have some different content on them. Um, we go to iMag, live iMag in our um, auditorium. We go uh, out to live stream, so it routes it out to that. And then lots of internal monitors. Um, you know, I've got, got our multi-cam uh, monitor views in there and I can route those throughout the building. Um, that ATEM 2ME switcher gives me two different switches. Um, so I can actually take all of our camera inputs and it's like having two video switchers. So I can send one out to our live iMag in the auditorium and I can send one out to our live stream that's a separate switch. Um, and then it also allows me to send you know, different feeds to different TVs throughout the building. So uh, you can see the video hub there, the uh, production switcher there. I've just got uh, some audio monitoring equipment under that and then our comm system uh, is right under that. Uh, here's the back of that video rack, a little messy, but I just want to show you guys um, all the inputs and outputs that we have for our building through that video hub. Uh, if you haven't used a video hub like that, it's, it's real great. It has a uh, iPad app or a computer program that you can, with the push of a button, send you know your main output here or your secondary output there you can just route anything in and out it's and it's awesome so um, here is our main switcher position um, we've got uh, two different multi-cam views there uh, again they reference kind of our two different switches that we have and then that right bottom TV is just the main out um, I'm currently using a stream deck um, to control our switcher. So that's that little button controller that you see there. Uh, that controls uh, the switcher itself. Uh, Blackmagic does uh, make a switcher controller that you can use. Then I have our hard drive recorder there on the desk. So we record everything to uh, SSD hard drives. Uh, and then right next to that is our streaming device. We currently are using a uh, Teradek Video Pro, which I believe is discontinued, but they do make uh, some new models of that. So that's how we're streaming. And you can check out my streaming video if you're interested in the specifics of how we stream and pull all that off. That'll be referenced below. So I've got a Drobo hard drive unit uh, there. So if we work through the room, um, next to our video switcher, I've got two different ProPresenter machines. I actually run three ProPresenters. Um, so there's two of them right there. The first one uh, does all my lower thirds, and I'm keying out. Uh, you can see a lot of blue there. I'm keying that blue out to get lower third lyrics and Bible verses. The last computer there is our video pro presenter, plays all of our video content um, into our switcher. And then I have a uh, stage display set up for the band. So that top monitor you'll see coming out of pro presenter um, is a duplicate of our stage display. We have TVs facing our stage for the musicians. And then there's just a wide shot of, of our whole production room there. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what we got going there. So we'll jump out to the auditorium real quick. Um, so we typically don't have these two cameras right next to each other. Uh, this is actually being filmed during um, the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Um, so we've uh, made quite a few adjustments because of that. We actually don't have any people in our building right now. We have a statewide shutdown going on. So um, some things have been moved around a little bit, but we do have um, three cameras, three of these main cameras, typically one in the center one on the far right and one on the far left of our auditorium. Uh, we, we meet in a warehouse, um, so you can see in this picture here, uh, there's a large pole in the middle. We actually have three of those up front. So we have one camera at each pole. Uh, we obviously can't put cameras behind them um, because it would uh, get in the way. But it's a very, very large room, about 45 foot ceilings, uh, just a massive 
1500 seat auditorium so let me jump back to the multi-view here so we do have three main we actually have four cameras we only have three set up right now so we have four main cameras that come in those would be manned uh, cameras and then right now I have three GoPros set up on the stage so the, the next three there only two of them are on at the moment in this picture but we have a drum uh, GoPro we have an electric GoPro right in front of our electric player and then we have currently one on our keyboard so we are I'm currently using you know four, seven uh, camera ins then I've got an additional pro presenter in an additional another pro presenter that's our video um, and then I do have a wide GoPro set up just for reference uh, that they can bring up because they are in a different room than the auditorium so let's jump back out here so right now like I said we're doing a few different things I've got those two center camera shots um, which is nice for what we're doing uh, at each camera stand um, because we move that one camera you don't see it there but you see the two TVs on the right camera each camera stand has two TVs one of them is a larger view of their camera which I feel is very helpful um, to get uh, you know in focus and in what they're getting uh, the second one would be a multi view so they can actually see um, just like the video switcher can see they see what everybody else is filming so if you're on camera two and camera one's already got the lead singer you know you you can tell that and you know that maybe you don't want to get the lead singer obviously we have comm systems and we communicate uh, what we need but it's just an added bonus um, helps the camera operators know uh, what they can and can't get so there's a front shot of those two cameras and then you see our third camera on the far left there at that other pole typically on the far right there'd be a that other camera would be over on the other pole so you can see this is one of our other camera stands again with those two monitors so for cameras here's what we are currently using um, you can obviously get a better camera you can also get a cheaper camera there's a, there's a ton of them out there so I'm by no means saying that this is the only one that you have to use but we're currently using these JVC GY HM 620s uh, I feel like they do a really good job at the price point uh, they're 1080p cameras our whole system is uh, 1080 um, it would obviously take a lot for us to upgrade to 4k so that's what we're currently running there and then uh, here is our front of house I just wanted to give you a quick view of this we do not run uh, video control from front of house we have that separate video room that I showed you uh, for control but I do have full control I typically sit in the front of house engineer position I do have full control over the video switcher on uh, that middle monitor there it's actually a touch screen so I can control the full video switcher there I can con actually control the video hub there as well if I need to so for some of our smaller events I've got an additional stream deck out in uh, front of house that I can control that video switcher with so for some of our small events I can run audio I can switch between a couple camera shots and um, stuff like that so and this is actually where our third pro presenter lives to uh, control our video wall so we have an LED video wall on the stage there if you can see in the background um, the hope that's kind of hard to see but that's our video wall so that pro presenter there is controlling that so again out of that uh, video switcher and video hub we're controlling quite a bit of stuff we're going live to the internet that's a feed out um, we're recording that's a feed out um, we're going to our projectors for iMag um, we're going to several TVs throughout the building uh, in the lobby in the nurseries backstage um, all of our preview monitors are all run from our video system and then that LED video wall is hooked up to the video hub as well so I can put all sorts of content on that video wall I can put pro presenter content I can put live cameras if I wanted to um, so everything runs out of that video hub which is great and then I've got preview monitors there at front of house um, again all that's connected to the video hub I can reroute things and put different content wherever I want it so uh, that is a quick overview of our video system and kinda how we do a few things and uh, what it takes so hope that was helpful for you guys again you can find uh, more stuff over at technicallychurch.com if you're interested um, try and post some fun stuff of uh, lots of different things that we're doing